All right, Moglets, I know what you're here for. My massive wood farming tips. First of all, a little complaint. Frick this wood. It literally took me like a solid week to figure out where I get this because I felt like I was getting it super randomly, but then, you know, I put two and two together and realized you only get it from fruit trees. Yes, you only get this from trees that drop uh, sunsetias or apples. Uh, it seems to be all of them, whether it's in Mondstadt or Leoe. Anything that has apples or sunsetia, you get this wood. So there's that. We'll talk about my favorite locations to go and scour for all of these woods. We'll come back to this one later because it's definitely the most complicated. For most of the others, there is a good place to find them, uh, like a l nice little concentrated area. Before we get started with the actual farming, I'll have you know that my actual strategy is teleporting to random locations and swinging on trees. And, you know, if I don't find the wood I like, I teleport to another random location. Though throughout the last couple of weeks, I have kind of made some connections. For example, over here in the new domain where you get these new artifacts, this is an amazing place to find birch wood, which I found to be a pretty rare tree. Perhaps it's not actually that rare, but you can see a lot of these trees around here have this uh, trunk, this white trunk, and you get birch wood from it. Another little side tip here is just not to spam the attack button. If you do it a little slower like this, boom, 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 you get a wood per hit. It takes a little practice to get the exact timing down, but we'll see if you're just spamming like this, it takes a little longer. You know, like every second or third hit, a wood comes out. I know this is incredibly important, but like boom, 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 all three, just like that. So that was birch wood. As far as I know, the wood responds at least every day, maybe even more often. So, so I just use this little area for my birch wood. It gives me as much as I need. Let's go ahead and talk about pine now. Pine was actually one of the harder ones for me at the beginning, but pretty much everywhere in Dragon Spine, there's going to be a lot of pine. I started over here in Leoa. There are a couple of pine trees like in this area, but forget that. But forget even Dragon Spine. The best place is going to be Mondstadt. Uh, those little trees over there, yes, those are pine. Pretty sure a lot of these around here as well are pine. But even these little dudes, yes, these are actual pine trees. Um, there, there you go. And you can farm each one of them around here. You know, all of these as well, those are all pine, all on the other side as well. So this is my favorite spot for pine wood. For fir wood, I'm mostly going to the uh, Viridescent Dungeon. And there's just a big, nice forest of trees all around. The normal looking trees over here, you know, dark base, green leaves, these are the uh, fir woods, although a lot of the trees do look similar and will give you different woods. As you can see, we're now getting fragrant cedar wood over here, where there's almost no perceivable difference between the two. But yeah, pretty much along this line to the Dawn Winery is where you're going to get a lot of your fir wood. I actually do find it randomly everywhere else in Mondstadt, but this is like the biggest concentration. Then we have sand bearer wood, which I believe is completely exclusive to Leoe. Again, this seems to be like the most common in Leoe. I'll just teleport anywhere random if for some reason I ever need sand bearer wood. And if there are any trees around that teleport location, you can pretty much guarantee that that it's sand bearer wood. There we go. So I don't really have a special favorite location for sand bearer. It's just so common in Leoe that you know, you just go there and look for it. Though checking an interactive map just to be like totally complete here, it seems like it's really concentrated uh, over here. The domain of Forsaken Ruins near the Gwili Plains. I would assume most, if not all of these trees are sand bearer as well. Indeed they are. Then we have Fragrant Cedar Wood. You saw we accidentally got some while looking at Fir Wood. Uh, so again, over here, there's going to be a nice concentration, although you, it seems to go along this path instead of the upper path. So, so I guess if you want to make sure you're farming, you know, fragrant cedar wood around here. So from here to here, there's a good collection of trees as well. Again, though, these woods seem to be just very, very common in Mondstadt. You can see we're getting some more fragrant cedar wood here. And over there is a sunsetia tree, so I guess we're going to move on to... I don't even know how to pronounce that wood, but it's super annoying. And you can see once we hit these sunsetia trees, we are get, getting uh, also big trees don't give you wood. Well, up to here, apparently you can still get wood. That's a pretty thick boy. Well, before we move on to that special only fruit tree wood, uh, we're going to talk about bamboo. Pretty much like only around here, but there's so much of it. This is like the best wood if you ever need bamboo shoots because it's just so incredibly concentrated. Look, there are like four, five, six there. 
There's a bunch down here. It's just crazy. You can even just hit a bunch at the same time, although you can't hit multiple and get multiple woods. It just doesn't really work like that. So you have to spam on a chunk of four for a while. <laughs> but yeah, basically just over here, massive bundles of them. So about the fruit tree wood, one thing you could do is simply go to an interactive map and choose apples and sunsetias and every location is obviously going to also be this uh, fruit wood. What I do find kind of hilarious is I'm doing that, but this interactive map also has wood locations. So it's like, but they don't have the wood locations where the sunsetia and, and, and apples are. So I'm not sure if they're just a little bit behind on that. But yeah, there was a comment that said there are a good amount of uh, sunsetia and apple trees here in Dadaopa Gorge. It also doesn't say that on the interactive map, but I've already been here farming some wood and it's true. There are quite a few around here. Yeah, I see one up there. We did actually have to go quite a while, but I was just farming here yesterday, so I'm not sure if they have regrown. Let's move on to where the interactive map says there's a lot of fruit trees, which is kind of in this area here. So if we warp to Starfell Lake and go sort of backwards, like around this area, uh, there should be a good amount. So let's check it out. Yep, here we have a Sunsetia tree. Up here we have another Sunsetia tree, so they do seem to be somewhat clustered, which is good. Here we go, here's another Sunsetia tree, very pog. And here we have an apple tree. So yeah, they do seem to definitely be uh, pretty concentrated. But yeah, I guess this was actually more of a guide for people who actually want to have fun with their uh, Serena teapot. Otherwise, there's only one type of wood you need, and that's pine wood over there in Mondstadt. To make these pine folding screens, just make like 600 of them, stash them in a room you don't care about. And yeah, you'll have a ton of quote unquote comfort. That is fake comfort. It's fake comfort because you don't get any comfort from a bunch of screens wasting space in a room it's a lie it's deception i really don't understand why anyone would do that just make a bunch of pine folding screens like what the heck you're supposed to be having fun with this you know and everyone's just out here try harding so hard you know being like oh man cool i have a bunch of like pine folding screens you know that's super pog and uh like Wow, they're so ugly and dumb, and who needs them, you know? Seriously, like, it's not a race, you know? You don't need to have maximum comfort, suddenly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, cool, you get a few more coins. Who really cares, though? A few more coins per hour, and you're going to waste all of that, like, time and resources getting those screens? To me, it actually seems inefficient. Like, yeah, sure, you know, in the short term, get get some nice coins but then like at the end of the day you're just left with a bunch of useless screens like really who would do this it's beyond me like it makes literally no sense I really don't understand it why someone can just like do this you know anyway I suppose that'll pretty much do it uh if you couldn't tell the last half of this was sarcastic do whatever you want to uh I'm personally trying to do a mixture like I do kind of like to be efficient especially because later on when we get a higher trust rank you know you can use those coins on things you can use outside of the serenity pot too so even so i yeah th this method is for those that don't really care about the serenity pot i would say i kind of care about it on one hand but also I, I do like being efficient and you know if the coins were only ever used for things you could do inside of the serenity pot obviously i'd be in no rush and you know just try and make my house look nice but uh you know I hate stairs anyway. I would never go upstairs. So it's basically just a, these over here though, they do serve a function. They're not just for efficiency. This is the uh, parole hearing uh, judgment place where you sit here. And I showed this in my Serena teapot thing, but I only had one screen here. Now it's even double private and double hardcore. So the parole officers can judge you even harder. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.